In December 2022, we successfully completed our mission to implement the Buenos Aires Action Plan. But the journey is not over. 2.7 billion people are not yet connected. 27% of them live in least developed countries. A new roadmap of action was adopted in Kigali with five priorities to achieve universal connectivity and sustainable digital transformation and five enablers to make this happen. From January to May 2023, lives have already been touched, impacted, positively changed all over the world. Here are some snippets of our work so far to advance the ITUD priorities. In Africa, satellite phones were deployed to Malawi and Mozambique after Cyclone Freddy hit in early 2023. Trainings on the Efficiency Toolkit developed with the United Kingdom's Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office, FCDO, were conducted in Kenya and Sierra Leone. The regional cyber drill for Africa was carried out in Malawi. And a story map highlighting e-waste policy development and data collection in Africa was released. In the Americas, national emergency telecommunication plans were developed for Paraguay and St. Kitts and Nevis. The early warnings for all initiative was launched regionally to mobilize support by Caribbean prime ministers. At the ECOSOC Youth Forum at UN headquarters in New York, Generation Connect co-organized an event on youth leading digital transformation in LDCs. In the Arab states, the digital innovation profile for Oman was launched. Collaboration on the GovStack initiative kicked off in Egypt, Iraq, Mauritania, and Somalia. A virtual cyber drill was held for Saudi Arabia, while in Morocco, work continues on the development of a new national cyber security strategy. In the Asia Pacific, Pakistan launched the Smart Villages Initiative and inaugurated the first Smart Village in Gokina. The ITU Area Office and Innovation Center was opened in New Delhi. A session on green digital transformation in circular economy for electronics was delivered online. The disaster connectivity map was activated in Vanuatu, impacted by tropical cyclones Judy and Kevin. Since January, the map has also been activated in other regions, specifically in Turkey and Syria, following the earthquake that hit the two countries in February. In CIS, in Uzbekistan, the regional forum on future networks was held with a training on conformity and interoperability. In Azerbaijan, a national digital skills assessment was launched. The regional forum on smart and sustainable cities was held in Belarus. And in Europe, assistance was provided to Moldova and Bosnia and Herzegovina to develop specifications for national broadband mapping systems. All over the world, the ITUD broadband infrastructure and transmission maps offer a key tool for countries to identify connectivity gaps and explore potential solutions. The National Digital Transformation Strategy for North Macedonia was finalized. The Regional Development Forum for Europe and its regional partner to connect roundtable were held in Romania. This is how we impact lives. This is BDT for impact. <laughs>